The following is a tutorial video on how to submit your paper for peer review for possible publication in one of our SPE peer review journals. You will need the following information available when you submit. First, the name, email address, company or institution, city, and country of each co-author on the paper. Remember that co-authors cannot be created without a unique email address. You will also need any necessary transfer of copyright forms. In other words, any forms that were not already submitted for a meeting. You'll need a cover letter or another statement about why you are submitting your paper for peer review by that particular journal. Finally, when prompted, Select up to eight of SPE's technical discipline codes along with one to five additional keywords that describe your paper. If you can't complete your submission in a single session, you can stop and save your work, then return to it at a later time. Once you have the required information, you are ready to submit your paper. If this is your first time on the site, you will need to create an account. You can do that by either clicking Register Here on the right side of the login screen or Create Account in the top right corner. Go through the steps and fill out the requested information to set up an account. After you've done this and have your login information, log in to the system to begin the submission process. When you first log in and click on your Author Center, you will see this dashboard for tracking your papers. This dashboard tells you how many manuscripts you have in each stage all or zero initially. Clicking on any link will allow you to view your papers in that category. To submit a new manuscript for peer review, use the Click Here link in the right section. Submission will follow the six-step process identified on the left. Note that the abstract being requested is longer than the typical abstract for a meeting. If your paper is accepted for publication, this abstract will become the preview that customers see for your paper in the online journals and one Petro. The last question allows an assistant to submit a paper on behalf of an author. In this case, the first author listed becomes the corresponding author. When this section is complete, click Save and Continue to save and move on to the next step. Next, you must select at least one and no more than eight discipline codes from SPE's technical discipline classifications to describe the technical area covered by your paper. A listing of SPE's discipline categories can be found at the following link. You must also enter between one and five keywords to further describe your paper. If your paper is accepted for publication, these discipline codes and keywords will be displayed online to assist readers in understanding the topical coverage of your paper. When this section is complete, click Save and Continue to save and move on to the next step. To enter additional authors, Type their email address and click the Find button. If they are in the database, the fields will be populated with their information. If they have not previously been an author or co-author or reviewer since July 2009 in SPE's current peer review system, you will need to supply at least the required fields, name, email address, company and institution, city, and country. After you have entered the data about a co-author, click Add to My Authors. This will move that person to the top area of the page, below your name. You can repeat the process for as many authors as needed. The question at the bottom of the page is designed to assist SPE in determining whether you or any of your co-authors may be eligible for the Cedric K. Ferguson Medal, which recognizes young professionals. Click the appropriate Yes or No button, and if any authors are aged 35 or younger, enter their names in the box. When this section is complete, Click Save and Continue to save and move on to the next step. Use the cover letter to describe what is innovative about your paper and why it merits peer review by this journal. Please be specific. Simply stating that the paper should be reviewed, quote, because it is a good paper, unquote, is not sufficient. Many excellent meeting papers are poor candidates for peer review. You can type in the box or upload a file. If your paper was prepared for an SPE, OTC, or IPTC conference, please enter the conference paper number in the format shown in the box. Enter the name of the conference, abbreviations are okay, and the first day of the conference. This information is typically found in the provenance blurb, the small text, at the top of your meeting manuscript. If your paper was not prepared for an SPE meeting, leave the space blank for the meeting name. Then answer the following questions. Has the paper been presented anywhere other than an SPE conference? Has this paper been published elsewhere? 
Has this or a substantially similar version of this paper been submitted concurrently or previously for peer review in another journal, including other SPE journals? And finally, have all authors supplied their transfer of copyright forms? When you've completed these sections, click Save and Continue for the next step. Now you're ready to submit your paper. If your paper includes a large number of figures or equations, you may get a message that your manuscript exceeds the allowable number of embedded figures, and you'll be asked to break it up. You can easily use your word processing program to separate the document into two parts, then upload both with a file designation of Main Document. They'll get put back together in the PDF for review. It is not necessary to extract the figures to separate files or change anything. Just break your document into two or more pieces. The system creates both a PDF and an HTML version of your paper. Please note that while it is available in the drop-down menu, we ask that you not submit text or latex files because they are not compatible with the current peer review system. When you upload separate figures, images, and tables, you will be given the option to enter a caption for them. This is not mandatory. You can click Save if you don't want to add a caption here. Most papers that begin as meeting papers will already have the figures and tables in the main document. That is fine. They do not need to be separated. But for papers being submitted directly for peer review, authors have the option of submitting the files separately if they choose to do so. The final step is to review all data entered, check the PDF generated from your files, which will be used for review, to ensure that it converted correctly and, when everything is okay, submit the paper. The Submit button will be grayed out until all of the data are correct and you have viewed your PDF. For each section, there will be a red X or a green check mark indicating whether that section is complete and correct. Click the Edit button to be transferred back to the first screen. After you make the correction and click Save and Continue, you'll be back at Step 2. Just click on Number 6, Review and Submit, at the left to come back to the final step. Click on the PDF to review the PDF of your paper and any figures or tables submitted. It will open in a new window. Line numbers will have been added at the left. These may not line up exactly with the text, but that's alright. Line numbers are designed to make it easier for reviewers to target their comments to a specific area of the paper, for example, page X or line Y. After reviewing the PDF, the Submit button will be enabled. Click Submit to send your paper for review. Please note that papers in SPE's peer review system, Manuscript Central, are given unique tracking numbers based on when they are submitted. These tracking numbers will be used throughout the review process. However, they are not an SPE paper number. Papers that are accepted for publication will be assigned an SPE paper number if they do not have one already. In correspondence about your paper, you will need to use the manuscript tracking number assigned to your paper. You can always monitor the status of your paper by checking your Author Center. Click on the link for Submitted Manuscripts to see the papers you have in process. At later stages, this message will tell you where your paper currently falls in the peer review process. Once a paper has completed review, it will move from the Submitted Manuscripts list to the Manuscripts with Decisions list. If reviewers requested revisions to your paper, it is from the Manuscripts with Decisions list that you will be able to submit your revised version. The corresponding author will receive an email when a decision has been made on his or her paper. Now that you've followed these steps, your paper has been submitted and is under consideration for publication in one of SPE's peer-reviewed journals.